Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be uh, looking into uh, stepper uh, control in SwiftUI. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a new file, stepper template. And uh, we'll see how we can create steppers. So um, let's go ahead and, and build out a simple uh, stepper function. So you can have a func, simple stepper going to return some view all right and then we just type stepper now stepper uh, takes uh, a value for example and the value is a bindable uh, property and then it takes a trailing closure where you can provide the text so uh, you can provide for example text um, stepper value and then you can have like you know the value printed out so what we can do is uh, we can create state variable so let's create a state variable stepper val is equal to zero okay and uh, we can actually bind that stepper val okay and uh, we can basically uh, print that text Padding, just provide some padding. All right, so let's go ahead and run this example and see what we got so far. All right, so I'm going to open Canvas and resume. All right, so uh, you're going to notice that we will have a control, and that control has uh, this label right here, and uh, this stepper uh, that you can increment or decrement and the value that's bounded has been changing and we are actually printing as a part of the label okay so that's how you can create your simple uh, stepper now let's see if you want to create a little bit more complex example of understanding what kind of events there are uh, we can actually look at that as well so stepper events for example Uh, we are, once again, we're going to create our stepper, and this time we're going to uh, leverage this on increment and on decrement um, overload. And uh, what it does is basically it takes closure, and uh, this is where we can actually say what happens when steppers increment, uh, stepper is incremented. So we can say the stepper val plus one plus equal to two. So we want to increment two. Um, uh, I mean, two count, and uh, uh, similarly, we're going to decrement uh, two counts <laughs> uh, just to keep it in sync. Uh, we can also collect values uh, that we are actually incrementing and decrementing. So I'm going to say collect valves just for an example to show you, like, you know, that you can do more than one operation here. So we're going to say uh, cell dot collect valves dot append and we're gonna say self dot stepper value. Okay, we're gonna collect that. Okay, uh, on decrement, uh, we are simply going to do the reverse operation of this. So what I'm gonna do is um, on decrement, there is like you know one thing that we need to be cautious of that our collection could be empty. So uh, let's first check if self dot collect value dot is empty so if it's not empty then only we want to go in and we want to say uh, self dot stepper value minus equal two okay so you're going to decrement by two and uh, you're going to say collect val dot remove last okay so we want to remove last item from there all right, last uh, overload function where we're going to actually provide our label. And this is where we're going to say collected values. And we're going to display our collected values. And self.collected values dot map. So we're going to map this. Um, and we're going to string interpolate this one simply uh, with the string 
function overload and then we can uh, join this with separator as comma okay and now last thing we're gonna provide some padding and there we go so we are ready so we can simply say separate events and go ahead and resume and you'll notice that we'll have this uh, new stepper when we increment it actually collects even numbers and when we decrement it actually removes all these numbers and if you notice we are still decrementing and uh, and now we can actually increment it again to get those values back okay so that is uh, your stepper uh, basically you can see like you know there are so many uses of it and uh, hopefully uh, in our examples like you know uh, like tutorials that we're gonna or apps uh, marks we're gonna create we can actually see all these in function like you know as they come useful uh, but at least you know like you know there's a component available for you that you can use to simply increment and decrement your values okay so that was the video about steppers in the next video let's talk about tabs okay so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you